So today I wanted to do a little Twitter um, rant today. I haven't spoken to you guys in a long time. Um, yeah, how y'all been doing? <laughs> Alright, so let me get some topics. For those of you who are new, I'm Ivy and this is Kicking It With Ivy. <laughs> and um, the Twitter rant is basically I pick a topic from Twitter and I talk about it. So basically it's a discussion amongst me and you guys. You and I. You and I, T Y. You. Okay. <laughs> um. So. Let's see. Okay, so I know one topic I want to talk about already. I want to go get my nails done. They're brown. And um, I got chocolate because it's Valentine's Day soon. And I know everybody's going to have red, so why not? Um. So, I went to the nail salon, and it was a disaster. So, it was one thing after another. Usually when I go to the nail salon, I'm just relaxing. That's my relax time. That's when I just, you know, listen to my music, get in my zone. I'm getting massage on my hands, my feet, you know. You know, girl time. Well, guys get their nails done too, so. Um, yeah, so that's what I do. I just relax. But I don't know if it's a New York thing. Or it's in every nail salon. Someone's gonna come in and try to sell something. And it's anything they get their hands on. Mace, pepper spray, socks, DVDs, nutcrackers. Like, it don't matter what area you're in. Harlem, Brooklyn. I've seen it happen. But in this particular day, it was every nail they were doing. Somebody was coming in. Like, it was so annoying. So this one guy come in, usually they, they should tell when you're not interested. I don't want to be bothered. I'm not interested. So I didn't look. I didn't give no attention. I didn't give him no eye contact. And I thought by the, my body language, he would just tell that I'm not interested in buying any of his products. I think he was selling like jewelry. I don't buy for the people because they either stole it or it's fake. And I'm not interested. So, um... Yeah, so he was selling jewelry, I think, because I can hear, like, the conversation when he came in or whatever. He knew the first lady in the front, so I guess she buys from him or whatever. That's nice. Um, then he made his way towards me. And I'm, I have headphones on at this point, but I'm not listening to anything. So, if you know me, I'm really good at ignoring people. So, I'm getting my nails done. <laughs> so, I'm like, all right. And I got like a straight face. I can't do it right now because I'm mad weak. So, um, I'm getting my nose done. And I'm like. <laughs> so, he makes his way over to me. And, um, this is like a little story time. But he makes his way over to me. And, um, he's like, oh, I'm like, no, thank you. Before he even opens his mouth, no, thank you. And he's like, dang, sis. One. People like to throw sis out, like, if. They, if you're black and he and they're black, they'd be like, sis, and stuff like that. At this point, I was already annoyed, so I'm not your sister. So, please. So, I didn't say anything. I just said, no, thank you. That's nice. That's really respectful and short, straight to the point, right? That I'm not interested. My body language and my words were not interested, but it wasn't rude. So, he's like, um, dang, you're not even going to look. You're not even going to look at what I'm selling. He's like, wow, you're not going to support your brother. Again, you're not going to support your brother. Mind you, you guys know I support my people. So, I'm not supporting fake jewelry. I'm going to break out. I'm not spending money on fake jewelry. And two, I don't need it. Three, I'm trying to relax here. And four, um, it's probably stolen. And I don't agree with people stealing things. So, I'm not going to support that. Just leave me alone, please. Thank you. So, um, he like, dang, you're not going to support. You you ain't even going to look. I'm still ignoring. So, then he goes to the lady behind me, and he's being shady now because he's in his bag. I don't know what bag he has, but he's in there. Um, So, and this is a big guy. Like, he's really emotional that I didn't buy his merchandise. Well, whoever's merchandise it was. No shade. I should have tea because this is a little tea. So, um... Now he's throwing shade at me from the lady behind me. So he's like, um, oh, at least you browse. 
Um, cause some people don't browse. She's like, oh, I'll browse and whatever. He's like, yeah, at least you browse, you know. Um, so then he said that to her. So I know he's throwing shots at me. Whatever. I'm not here to play with you and go back and forth. Like, if you're in your bag, that's your situation. I'm getting my nose done. That's what I came here to do. So he's like, yeah, at least you browse or whatever. He says it like over and over again. Once again, you're not going to get my attention. I hear you, but I'm listening to music, you know. So then he goes back to the lady that he knows in the front. And he's like, we need more sisters like you. We need people that's going to support each other. Uh, our black men out here. Like, what? He's in his back. I could not believe he was emotional about this. I'm like, wow, I feel really bad about the, uh, about the lady he's dating or anything. Or if he's dating ladies or men or whatever. But because if they say no to him, I'm sure he's not going to say that too well. When you ask somebody a question, everyone, you're going to get a yes or a no in life. If you're a business person, you have to be ready for a no. You cannot be emotional about that. So that's what that story was about. Like, I just thought it was so funny that he was like really in his emotions. Like, because I said, no, thank you. And then um, he was like, hey, we need more sisters like you to the lady at the front. I'm like, please, like, at this point, you're amusing. So yeah, that's one thing. I know I wrote it on Twitter. But yeah, that's the one I can remember that I wrote. I thought that was so hilarious. Oh, man. I'm not knocking anybody's hustle. I'm just, I wasn't interested. So I'm not going to waste anybody's time. Because he could be going to another store where somebody that does want to buy his merchandise or whoever merchandise he's selling. So, um, <laughs> that's hilarious. So the next thing is, doo -doo 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 -doo. so I'll put, if you can't sing live, you can't sing. Period. Point blank. So, um, I always listen to, I'm, I love YouTube. I don't only make YouTube videos, but I, but I watch YouTube videos. And I've been watching YouTube videos before I even made a channel. So, I watch, like, people do covers. I watch, that's how I started watching YouTube. I watch people do covers. I watch, um, family sing together. Um, like, I watch music stuff. I'm really musically inclined. I'm, that means, like, I have a good ear for music. Um, I love music. It makes me happy. So, um, I listen to people live, celebrities live, and people that just do covers or people that sing in like, um, like coffee shops and stuff like that. And if you can't sing without a studio, you can't sing. Um, cause in the studio they could tweak your voice, make this higher, make this low, switch a key. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, yeah, we're gonna move on to the next one. It's pretty, uh, pretty obvious. The next one said, "Black Happy Black History Month. Happy Black History Month to everybody. Um, oh, <laughs> this is what I put for the guy. Men be more emotional than women sometimes. And I put, this guy is jokey, laughing my butt off. I don't want nothing, sir. Thank you. Next. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, um, I was trying to prank my friends. They, uh, they already take me as a joke. Because everybody thinks I'm funny. I don't think I'm funny personally. I don't know. So I told, I sent my friends, because I got like a, I was eating and I had like a little food belly. And then, um, I originally have like a little pudge or whatever. Because I'm thick, whatever. So, um, I ate and then I was poking it out. And I was trying on some clothes in a, um, <laughs> in, uh, what was it, H&M. So I sent the picture like holding my stomach. And I was like, um, I sent it to my friend. I said, it's a mom, right? So... One of my friends put, it's a gut. And then my other friend, my cousin, was like, um, what did she say? I forgot what she said. She was like, she said, oh, where's the gender reveal, sis? <laughs> but they didn't take me serious. I'm like, dang, nobody believes me. So my other friend was like, it's all fun and games until you're really pregnant. I'm like, the only way I'm getting pregnant is if God wants me to be one of his Bible stories. And my friend was like, you're so annoying. <laughs> Because I'm not doing anything to get pregnant, so it's like, that's not going to happen. Uh, oh, if y'all know what AirPods are, right below. Well, you can write below to anything. But um, I was on a train, and this girl, she was trying to connect her AirPods, and her AirPods connected to my phone. And I'm like, that's dangerous. So I'm like, miss, your AirPods connected to my phone. She's like, really? This is the second time this happened? I'm like, that's dangerous. So let me know if that happened to y'all before, people, the I, the AirPod users. Um, and people that don't know what that is, it's like the little, um, like iPhone 
headphones, but like just the little piece like that. I'm too clumsy for that. I'll trip and it'll drop in the drain or something uh, in the street and I will be annoyed. That a friend is somebody who defends you in your absence. Preach on that. <laughs> I'm so annoying. I put um, this guy music on the train is so peaceful. I feel like he was one of the guys playing the song before the ship sunk in the Titanic. You remember in the movie? I don't know if y'all saw the Titanic, but that's my favorite movie. And it was like, dun, 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 dun. you know, it was like, it was like, right? They was playing like on the piano. The other one was playing like, like the angelic music. The guy in the train, he was playing like really nice. Usually music on a train annoys me. A lot of things annoy me. Y'all gonna probably figure that out. But um, it was really nice. I was like, wow, this is nice. I like when the, it's really real talent on the train. But people come on there like, it's showtime. And like you tired from work or it's really, really early in the morning, like 5 o'clock in the morning. You don't want to hear that. And people jump in and hanging off the poles and turn into Spider-Man. I don't want to hear that in the morning. I don't know. Maybe I should have like a work schedule. To do that maybe in the afternoon will be okay but like really late and really and early in the morning i don't want to hear that and then i think your foot might hit me and then it's gonna be an issue and then it's like i don't know this train is moving y'all jumping in the ceiling it just don't work for me but when people like sing and it's nice um yeah if you live in new york you know the train is like a whole apollo theater because everyone just has like so much talent and everybody's just coming on selling candy Doing a whole bunch of different stuff. Oh, <laughs> I put the best advice I can give you is don't sit down where the map is on the train. So, um, in New York, they have like, well, in other places, they probably have maps on the train too. But there's seats, and then it's like a map. And sometimes I always forget not to sit there. Like, two times lately, I forgot. Because if you sit there, everybody's going to be like bending down and looking. Or like, they're going to be in your face like. And you're going to be like. Like, if you don't know, it's behind you. So, if you want personal space, maybe the train's not for you, especially during, like, um, rush hour. Um, yeah, but don't sit in front of the map, y'all. That's a heads up. Anybody going to visit New York or if, tell me if wherever you're from, y'all have maps. Because they will be on top of you. Like, they don't see you. They see that map. So, yeah, that's some advice I could probably give y'all sitting on the train. Um, but in 2018, I really came out of my comfort zone with myself. I tried so many hairstyles. I traveled alone, started my YouTube channel. Um, I really came out, out of my shell. I'm so proud of me. I'm shocking myself. Can't wait to see what this year brings. So yeah, this is my only my second time ever having box braids. Last year was my first time having box braids. Um, all the braiding hairstyles is my first time trying that. Um, I tried a bob. The bob was a closure. My first time trying to closure. Um, my first time doing an up, half down, a half down, half up, half down hairstyle. First time doing curly hair. I just went off. Um, yeah. Yeah, I already know I went to Canada by myself. I am flattered when girls give me compliments because most girls are haters. Sad to say, but a lot of girls are. And won't say anything. So I appreciate the women who are comfortable in their own skin. You go, ladies. Let me give it. girls give me compliments more than men because men they compliment women a lot so sometimes it is sometimes it's uncomfortable for me I don't know if some ladies like that I don't really like attention too much so um like some some ways you go about it could be uncomfortable but yeah like damn ma huh? whoa that's like that's the wrong way to go about it but you look beautiful today thank you you know it's just certain ways you go about things you can look at somebody and make them feel really uncomfortable like you're just stripping them down out of their clothes just by the way you're looking at them and then some some things be like wow you look really beautiful today thank you and then a lot of girls don't give compliments so when i get compliments from women i really appreciate it because guys throw compliments or like cat call all the time so, yeah, women would just look at you like, like you stole something from them and you, you never even met this person before. And so, for the ladies, if you see somebody and you like what they're wearing or you like their lipstick or their hair, just give them a compliment. I'm sure that would make their day. It would probably surprise them. And, 
Yeah, and say thank you, ladies, because some people don't give other people compliments because they think they're gonna, not going to say thank you. Some people be like, oh, I know. Or they be like, say thank you. So it's a give and take thing. If you see somebody that look nice, give them a compliment. Or if y'all make eye contact, say something. Say hello. Just don't stare. Like, that's rude. And I say it all the time. Like, if I see somebody, I'm like, wow, that's a nice jacket. And, she, and the lady will be like, thank you. And maybe it might start a conversation. Maybe it might not. M maybe she'll feel a little better. Maybe she was feeling self-conscious. You never know. So your words could really affect people. So, yeah. I took that as a compliment. So I think when I had my ponytail, someone was like, oh, your hair is really nice. And I was like, thank you. And it was like a group of girls. And I was like, wow, thanks. So, and I said that to them too. I said, um, I really appreciate it because girls don't usually give compliments. And they said, that's true. They said, girls don't. They was like, I don't have no problem though. If a girl look bomb, a girl look bomb. And I was like, you go girl, you know. You all keep it up. Y'all keep being positive and y'all keep doing what y'all doing. Because y'all content with who y'all are. And another beautiful woman doesn't intimidate you. So yeah, that's what I put here. Oh, everyone keep telling me to listen to Summer Walker. So let me see what's all the talk is about. Since I've listened to her, her song's been on repeat. I really like Summer Walker. She gives me a little bit of her and Erica Badu. I've been listening to her stuff on like replay. I love her, Jasmine Sullivan. You know, the neo soul category is my heart. <laughs> I said, um, what you want for Christmas or Valentine's Day or birthday? And I put me, flute out. Oh, that's what I want for every holiday. I want to be flued out. I'm not I, fly, I fly myself out. I might play around and say that all the time, but I always fly myself out. So I was chatting. So I put, I'm not going to front. It annoys me when people text, DM, or message me about my videos when there is a comment section below. It's not subliminal. You guys know who you are. I put it on Twitter. Maybe I was in my bag that day but i'm over it now because whoever comments comments i showed y'all in the video how to comment i showed you how to subscribe i'm not going to continue to tell y'all how to do that i'm not going to beg for a friend on youtube or off youtube but those of you who support me i love you guys and i don't have to tell y'all to do that i said sometimes i am so happy about coming from nothing because when i make my mark i have a story to tell and my grind is going to be different from the people who were born with money. And that just explains itself. So, let's see, I want something juicy. Oh, <laughs> I think I'll probably be in shady. Um, when people are followers and have no originality or creativity, when the person that inspires them stops being proactive, what do they do? Everybody's a follower, but you can make things your own. You can make things your own and, um, yeah. But some people take the exact same thing and duplicate it. And that's not original. You could be inspired. And then some people give credit where it's due. Like, oh, this inspired me, but I turned it around and I made it mine. You know what I'm saying? And some people be like, oh, I just made this up. And that'd be the person that's just duplicate. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I was talking about there. What I won't tolerate is racism. Being comfortable and being ignorant is not cute. And then I followed that tweet with, you can live, what was it? Oh, okay. You can love being black, but don't belittle other people's culture, race, nor ethnicity. Just love you and your people. Then I put ignor ignorant, is not knowing but once you are informed and you continue to be ignorant then you're a racist stay woke hashtag so um it was something that was said on um facebook and it bothered me and i had time that day so basically the girl said um if y'all like puerto rican bees so much go buy them a coat usually i don't do the back and forth thing but um I wanted to inform this black woman because the reason why we were friends on Facebook, because we weren't friends, we just um, were friends on Facebook, was because um, she seemed empowering. I seen her, she had gave some lady some clothes that she was on the, on the street. 
and um, I thought that was really powerful. So she, and she's a po a po um, she's a poet. So she's like really powerful in her community. So I thought she was a dope person. I'm not saying she's not dope. She's just comfortable and being ignorant. So um, she wrote that I'm Hispanic. My family. I have a bunch of different complexion. Hispanic people and my family who ha all have great coats. So I thought that was really ignorant of her to say. So I wrote, um, I'm a Hispanic woman and I have a great coat. And um, you don't, she doesn't know every Hispanic person to say they don't have great coats. And why are you so upset? Who upset you like that morning that you thought you should put that? So she said, oh, um, you would be considered Afro Latina anyway. Um, you're not the kind of um, what you said. You're not the kind of um, his no. You're not the kind of Hispanic girl that black men desire or something like that or think about. And I was like, wow. Should I say another comment or should I just leave her where she's at? You know. So um, I fought with that a little bit because I was like, hmm. Wow. And. Once I let you know a fact, because you don't know every Hispanic person, and um, she said something else wrong. She said Spanish. And I said Spanish is the language. Okay? That's the first thing you said wrong. So I'm trying to inform you. I'm not trying to belittle you, and I'm not trying to be aggressive. So, yeah, she used the B word. She was really ignorant. She was really upset about something. I pray for her that she feels better. I sent her good energy. But, um, yeah, I had to unfriend that girl because we're not going to be doing that on my timeline. Mm -mm. So, um, if you guys don't know, his, I'm going to tell you guys now, ladies and gentlemen, not guys. Um, Hispanic people come in many, many different shades, sizes, heights. We're from different places. Nicaragua, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, um, it's so many places. Cuba, Panama. It's a lot of places. So we all come different shades. Puerto Ricans are not lighter than Dominicans. We're all different shades. Everyone has a dark person, a light person, albino, chocolate. Like we come in many different colors. So do black people. So do Asian people. We come all different shades. So once you know that and you continue to be in your box, you're comfortable there and then you become not only ignorant but racist because you don't know every Hispanic person so and if you travel that awakens this little piece in your brain you know because you need to inform yourself you need to not be in a box like people think Africa is lions walking around everywhere because that's what they show you on TV that's not what it is if you want to travel or if you had an African friend you can learn but if somebody tells you something don't be don't be oblivious and be open to it so it only bothered me because she didn't want to learn you know what I'm saying and I was trying to teach her because I wasn't like don't <clears throat> like I wasn't like that I said well I'm Hispanic fat um I have a good coat fat and Spanish is the um the language not the um the race so I just gave her facts and she didn't want it and that's all I could do and I'm not mad at her I hope she does become more um, knowledgeable on the topic or she shouldn't be putting that on her platform because it's really negative but I'm gonna leave that there because I'm gonna have a whole nother video on that and that's gonna be real deep but I hope you guys liked my Twitter rant and I want to spend some time with you today yeah, and Valentine's coming up. So what are y'all doing for Valentine's Day? Uh, comment below. I'm going to do a Valentine's Day vlog, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys are wearing your boots if y'all live in New York because it's snowing outside. And um, I hope y'all enjoyed the award show. I think it was a award show happening. Um, yeah, and I love you guys. Besos.